good morning students in this class i will give you a critical analysis of this work the piano teacher in the last class i gave you a summary of this novel and also some materials i hope that you have gone through all those things so in this class we will do a critical analysis we will be discussing the major issues major themes discussed in the novel so this elfred jelinek's work the piano teacher is both a psychological study and a social critique on a psychological level the novel explores the ways in which the mother daughter relationship will determine the nature of the daughter's relationship with men in her adult life erica's mother ask her to sacrifice her own normal psychological development to rescue the family by means of her special musical gifts her hard driving mother keeps her daughter in a regressed dependent position yet she also makes her the man of the house so the power relationship between the two women is a complex one despite her mother's domineering ways erica is not a, not simply obedient and docile she also descends disagrees resist through her infuriated emotional life instead of gaining independence she is drawn into power struggles with her mother which she sometimes wins erica is able to find ways to control and even manipulate her often baffled often confused mother love and hate are difficult to distinguish in the intense bond between this two women that is why i said earlier their relation is is complex and complicated similarly when erica embarks on a relationship with walter clemmer she appears as the masochistic partner but remains in subtle control jelinek's depiction of romantic love is one that is largely shaped by motives of power humiliation and sexuality that we see quickly shades into violence <clears throat> both comic and tragic the romance of clamor and erica is utterly destroyed by each partner's unloving impulses erica often presents herself as a victim or as an object available for punishment and ridicule however as we see in her relationship with her mother she is both powerless and mysteriously powerful erica's masochistic desires begin to tyrannize clamor tyrannize clamor 
whose need to keep the upper hand is subverted by Erica's need to herself gain power and freedom from the victim status that has been so hurtful to her. She makes an imperious list of masochistic demands and the wound she inflicts on herself demonstrate the way in which Herika has made herself her own victim. Even as she attempts to free herself from this status, so we constantly see this girl, this woman trying to free herself from this victim status by exerting control over her twisted sexuality. To further complicate the situation, even as Erika triggers a streak of sadism and violence in clamor, her relationship to him is complicated by a deep but largely buried wish for genuine care and love. We see that beneath her perverse sexual conduct, there is a more basic longing for her for a trusting bond that will allow her to love and be loved. We see that Erika has been so psychologically damaged by her possessive and controlling mother that she has no idea who she is or what she feels. She is shaped by her ambitious mother to become a perfectionist and a high achiever. A personality, her personality has been falsified to such a degree that there is a void, there is a gap where her identity should be. So this is a classic textbook example of a narcissistic personality disorder where we see Erika's fury and anguish which allow her to feel that she exists as a real person. It is a suffering that suggests that there is an autonomous, independent, individual struggling to break free of this shallow and artificial identity her mother has imposed on her. So she is groomed for success. And we see Erika's failures point to the existence of a more authentic, more real personality. When Erika cuts herself on her shoulder in front of Clemmer and she returns home to her mother, she is actually suggesting that she is aware that she has collaborated with both her mother and clamor as they aggressively imposed their wills on her. Having never had the freedom to develop her own identity or her own sexuality, her task now is to dismantle the false self she was carrying till then. To dismantle the false self that has made her a yielding masochist. The task of self-destruction. 
though wreak havoc on her own life this is the only way in which she can ever free herself from her role as a victim of both her mother and her lover also we see a sense of authenticity while depicting a self in the process of undermining its own false promises there emerges in the flow of the language assigned to erica so this is what you understand when you go through the novel there is this musical flow of voices which constitutes a rich linguistic form of descent from social conventions and social pressure and it is considered as one of jelinek's major achievements the musical flow of language which is assigned to erica it is a rich linguistic form of disagreement dissent so the language of the novel conveys a dark enraged and anguished emotional texture that constitutes a form of emancipation from the repressive and controlling environment which controls erica's instincts and intuitions it is this dissonant which is often hysterical but there is this musical deployment of language which is projected as an inventive resistance which got appreciation from nobel committee and it was especially noted when awarding nobel prize for literature in 2004 to alfred jelinek so girls this is part 1 of critical analysis of this particular work so in this class we discussed the power relationship between two women erica and her mother and we talked about the masochist desires of erica and beneath her desires we see her search for a trusting bond and then we talked about this narcissistic personality disorder and how she went on dismantling the false self and then we talked about the language which becomes a voice of dissent which was appreciated by nobel committee so these are the points discussed in this class in the next class we will move to the next part of this text next theme of this text so thank you girls have a nice day